boxing fans, tonight we're going to see the main event from tonight's card. Rudy Bad Boy Lovato, if you can hear me over the band over here. Rudy Bad Boy Lovato will be taking on uh, Tommy Eaglin out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Tommy with a record of 15 and 3. Seven of those wins by knockout, and he's a very strong fighter. You're going to see that he's a physically strong fighter in this uh, weight division. But Rudy Lovato, the bad boy out of Albuquerque, he's always got something up his sleeve. A slick technical boxer, a warrior. He's going to climb into the ring with a record of 8 and 6. Three wins by knockout. And Tommy Eaglin at 15 and 3 with seven KOs. So right now, let's go to the action. Rudy Lovato and Tommy Eaglin here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Cue the bad boys. Cue the bad boys music. present Rising Stars 5, the main event. Your judges at ringside will be Mr. Levi Martinez, Mr. William Gett, and Mr. Rocky Burke. Working this matchup will be Mr. Nephi Quintana. <laughs> Introducing first, in the blue corner, he has a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and nine knockouts. He weighed in at 146 pounds. He's wearing the green trunks, black trunks, and yellow trunks. From St. Petersburg, Florida, Irish Tommy Eaglin. <laughs> Okay, boxing fans, we're just about ready to get underway with the action now. Dan Cisneros at ringside. We're watching the eight-count boxing hour here on Community Cable Channel 27, only in Albuquerque. And right now you're looking up at Rudy Bad Boy Lovato out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And there's the bell, round one. This bout is underway now, scheduled for 10 junior welterweights. The man you're looking at there throwing the big right hand is Tommy Eaglin out of St. Petersburg, Florida. And you can see Eaglin immediately going to the body here. As we told you in the opening, Tommy Eaglin is the power puncher. He's a powerhouse. He's always moving forward, and he really hits hard, and he likes to go to the body, and he's a deadly puncher. But look at Rudy Lovato now answering back. 
So this one heating up quickly here. Coming to you from the Lujan building here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Rudy Lovato backed into the corner now, but uh, Tommy Eaglin coming forward like a tractor, just moving in. But look at Rudy Lovato now, slipping out to the right and working with the right hand of the body. There's a left hand of the body. Look at Rudy Lovato go to the body here against Tommy Eaglin. And as we can see early on in this fight, the fight plan for Rudy Lovato, go to the body, stick and move. Tommy Eaglin out of St. Peter Petersburg, Florida. Uh, if you're familiar with the local boxing scene, you might say he looks like a miniature Sean McClain. Of course, Sean McClain, the former IBC cruiserweight champion out of Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Tommy Eaglin, a, a smaller version, but look at him go to the body here. We're in the first round, and Rudy Lovato answers back with his own body shots. If you grade these two on foot movement, Rudy Lovato is the man with the good feet. He really moves around the ring. He will use the entire ring. And there you see Rudy now counterpunching as Eaglin missed, and Rudy makes him pay with two good right hands. And Rudy Lovato, again, setting into the stick-and-move fight plan. Looking good to this point, but Tommy Eaglin, a dangerous puncher. There's the overhand right from Eaglin. And now you see Rudy Lovato fighting off the ropes, and he kind of ties his man up and pushes him out to the center of the ring. Referee Nefi Quintana, a veteran of world championship class experience. Nefi Quintana will be the man in charge in this one. We're scheduled for 10 rounds. Tommy Eaglin with the... Black trunks with the green and yellow trim. Tommy written across the front waistband. And Rudy Lovato in the black and white checkered trunks. He is the favorite, the hometown favorite here in Albuquerque. This fight coming to you from the state fairgrounds in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, another good left hand of the body dug in by Rudy Lovato. And you can see Eaglin. He had uh, Rudy back into the corner there. And you can see him just set up for that punch. And Rudy just calmly moves out of the, out of the corner before... Lovato can set up, so uh, Rudy Lovato will have to move before Eaglin can set up. Looks like Eaglin needs to set up to throw his big punches. And Rudy Lovato looks like if he's in any kind of condition tonight, he will be able to evade the power of, of Eaglin as much as possible. There you see Tommy again with Rudy Lovato with his back to the ropes, and Eaglin goes to work on him now. Again, Rudy Lovato backing up, sticking the jab out there. Pretty good connection percentage here on those jabs from Rudy Lovato. He looks pretty quick tonight, but look at Eaglin dig those shots now to the body. Every time he gets Rudy into the corner, but look at Rudy turn things on him. And Rudy with some nice body shots and ends it with a good right hand. Nice combination there by Albuquerque's Rudy Lovato. And there's the bell to end round one. We'll be so a good opening round of action here in this junior welterweight bout. Uh, we look into the corner now of Rudy Bad Boy Lovato. Being trained now by Oriel Chavez, also Sammy Kidd working the corner for him, as well as Ricky Ortega. Rudy Lovato with a record of eight and four. Of course, Rudy's story, he was a tremendous world-class ch kickboxing champion, moved into the world of boxing and making the transition. And since uh, he was out for a few years there, making a comeback now, and he's been on a, on a good roll, coming back now, moving his record to 8-4. and four. His record at one time hovered around 500. And Rudy Lovato really making a nice charge here in his, uh, well, I guess you'd call it a comeback, but Rudy's not that old. But since returning to action... And being busier, uh, he, we've seen him on some of these shows promoted by Lenny Fresquez and Rudy really, really improving his standing in the world of boxing. So we're underway now with round two, Dan C. Snedos at ringside. Again, you are watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour here on Community Cable, Channel 27 here in Albuquerque. This bout is, again, scheduled for 10 rounds. These are junior welterweights. Tommy Eaglin, who you see on the left there, Coming all the way from St. Petersburg, Florida. Of course, his record very impressive at 15-3. and three, Nine of those wins by knockout. So the heavy hands definitely belong to the very powerful Tommy Eaglin. Rudy Lovato from Albuquerque takes a, a right hand there from Eaglin. But look at Rudy. Stick and move. He answers back. Every time Eaglin lands one shot, Rudy will answer with four, five, or six. Keeping his hands busy now. And it looks like this fight may come down to conditioning here. As again, you see Rudy banging on uh, Eaglin. Eaglin just keeping his hands up up high and just taking a lot of those shots on the arm, but Rudy is sl slipping a punch every now and then in. And look at those body shots from Tom, uh, Ru Rudy Lovato. Very nice work on his part. Nice body shots with both hands. And that is definitely going to win some rounds for him in the scoring here. And Again, he's pecking away, away with the jab as he retreats. And Tommy Eaglin just not real busy. He's moving forward. He's He's aggressive, and a lot of uh, people think that you win the rounds with aggression, but this is not effective aggression. aggression. Uh, walking forward and taking shots isn't going to earn you anything in, 
in the scoring of the judges. And Rudy Lovato very smartly just keeps, uh, keeps busy. Again, you see him now working with that left hand, real nice left hand, and comes back with a solid right. And Eaglin spits and comes forward and takes another right hand as he moves in. So Rudy Lovato right now really in control of this one. Looks like the Matador uh, playing with the bull here, but <laughs> dangerous bull here with Tommy Eaglin, the knockout puncher out of St. Petersburg, Florida. And again, now, now you see Eaglin connects with the right hand. And now he has Rudy on the ropes, and this is where Lovato should not be. But he comes out strong and lands a good right hand that snaps the head back of Eaglin. But look at Eaglin. The man's got a chin of granite. He just moves forward, takes those shots. And now he has Lovato on the ropes. And this is where Eaglin likes to open up. And look at him dig to the body now. Good body shots from Tommy Eaglin. And Rudy Lovato just laying back, sitting on the ropes almost. And he comes out with a flurry of his own off the ropes. Rudy Lovato... Uh, has a habit of working off those ropes. Sometimes he's pretty effective working off the ropes, but I'm sure his trainers don't want him there, and now Rudy slips out. And just a little bit of side-to-side -side movement keeps uh, Tommy Eaglin off balance. There you see Rudy tie him up now, and that's another smart move on the part of Rudy Lovato. So Rudy really showing some nice boxing skills here. And there's a body shot sunk in by Rudy Lovato with his back to us now, right above us. Again, Rudy just staying busy, piling up the points here. Looks like he's not real concerned about a knockout victory. I think he just would be very happy to take a decision win. And, of course, Rudy Lovato uh, has not made it a secret that uh, he is looking for a shot against Chris Linson. We'll be back. Back to the action now. Dan Cisneros at ringside. We're looking into the corner of Irish Tommy Eaglin as we're just about ready to get underway with round three. As I was saying earlier, uh, Rudy Lovato out of Albuquerque makes no bones about it. He wants a shot at Chris Linson, the unbeaten welterweight out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Chris Linson, 10-0-1 with nine, or I believe it's nine wins by knockout. It may be eight, but 10-0-1 unbeaten, the former uh, amateur star out of New Mexico. And Rudy Lovato really uh, has been aiming at uh, Chris Linson, and he's trying to look impressive tonight here as he goes against Tommy Eaglin. Of course, Chris Linson scoring a first round knockout in, in the earlier fight and right now Lovato in a little bit of trouble but he takes it and slips out and continues to box. Chris Linson scoring a first round technical knockout over Roland Baker on the undercard of the fight you're watching right here. So uh, Linson and Lovato look like they may be headed for a showdown here. A big time Albuquerque uh, or New Mexico rivalry, Santa Fe versus Albuquerque, and you may be seeing that in the future. Keep your eyes and ears open for that one. But right now it's uh, Rudy Lovato continuing to stick and move, box, fight in flurries, and tie things up when he gets in trouble. Rudy Lovato fighting a very smart fight to this point. He just seems to have the quicker hands and the right style to keep uh, Tommy Eaglin off balance. Again, you see Rudy with the combination punching. Real nice work on the part of Lovato. Not a lot behind those shots, but he's staying busy and piling up the points here. Just doing what he has to do. But Tommy Eaglin is relentless. He just continues to come forward and <laughs> looks like Lovato's going to have a little trouble stopping Eaglin here. Again, Tommy Eaglin just marching forward. And I've seen his corner... Between rounds, it looked like he's, they're just pleading with Tommy to let loose with his hands, and I don't know why he's holding back. Maybe it's the movement. It looks like Tommy needs a stationary target. He needs a, a, a second or two, a split second to set up. And every time he does, Rudy's gone like a ghost. He's in and out. There you see the jab from uh, Eaglin, and that's something we haven't seen much of, the jab. And he should be moving forward jabbing, but he just comes forward with his hands up, and Rudy Lovato really taking advantage of that. As you can see, Lovato now fighting on the retreat, stick and move. He's not just a brawler, but he's a nice boxer, Rudy Lovato. There you see him again, and he's been working overtime on that body. That's going to win him a lot of rounds in the eyes of the judges here. No doubt that Tommy Eaglin appears to be the stronger. There's a solid right hand. Now, it looks like Lovato might be in a little bit of trouble here. Tommy Eaglin trying to finish him off here. He, he stings Rudy Lovato with the right hand, and he... Steps on the gas and tries to put him away, but Rudy, give Rudy credit there. He takes, uh, takes the shots and he comes back fighting now. Rudy Lovato fighting off his way off the ropes. He got stung. He got tagged with a right hand. Good, solid power shot from 
Eaglin, and now look at Lovato spin things around here, and he has Tommy Eaglin, Eaglin on the ropes, and then the two tie up. Referee Nephi Quintana jumps in to break him up, and that ends the round. So a good round for Tommy Eaglin. We'll be back. Just underway with round four here on the eight count boxing hour. Dan Cisneros at ringside bringing you the boxing action of the Duke City. And it was a good round maybe for Tommy Eaglin as he had Rudy just a little bit shook up there in that third round. But Rudy weathers the storm and he comes right back to the stick and move boxing tactics. Uh, Rudy winning the first two rounds on our card. Third round maybe to Eaglin. And now look at Rudy Lovato go on the attack now opening up the offense a little bit. Look at Rudy. About 10 unanswered punches there, and Tommy Eaglin just kind of steps forward and wings with the right hand. Again, you can see Rudy Lovato digging with that left hand to the body. He's found pay dirt there. He can score that almost at will, and he's been doing it overtime. <laughs> he gets a warning for uh, grabbing the back of the neck of uh, Eaglin. Rudy Lovato, a, a pretty masterful boxing performance so far here, but he's definitely walking through a minefield with Tommy Eaglin, a, a big puncher, big, strong puncher, Tommy Eaglin. And he just looks physically stronger, much thicker, heavily muscled. Uh, Rudy Lovato, more of that slim, uh, lean boxing type uh, build. And you see him now jabbing on the retreat, Rudy Lovato, working overhand, over time with that left jab. And uh, he's working with both hands nicely, though. He slips that right hand in there to the body, and there you see him trying to, <laughs> trying to connect with a little uppercut from mid-range there, and then he just ties Eaglin up. Referee Nephi Quintana comes in and breaks the action. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior welterweight division. Again, Rudy Lovato in the black and white checkered trunks and Tommy Eaglin in the black, green, and yellow trunks. Uh, Tommy written across the front waistband of Tommy Eaglin out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Boxing coming to you on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque, the eight-count boxing hour. This is our main event, Tommy Eaglin and Rudy Lovato. And again, you see Rudy doing all the work here. Definitely impressing the judges with his busy hands. And if Tommy Eaglin doesn't get busy here, he's going to get to the point where he'll need a knockout early in this fight. <laughs> We're not even midway through the fight, and he's already fallen behind in rounds. You've got to be impressed with the patience of Rudy Lovato. He's, he's not loading up with his shots. Looks, looks like he's pacing himself, uh, looking possibly for a 10-round fight. And Tommy Eaglin is a proven... A uh, strong fighter that can go the whole 10 rounds. And maybe that's what Eaglin's plan is also, to just kind of take Rudy out to the late rounds and, and then open up with the power after Rudy's uh, legs maybe wear out. But so far to this point, Rudy Lovato looks like he has plenty of gas in the gas tank. He looks as, just as strong in this round as he did in the opening round. Now you see Eaglin with a body shot as he has Lovato on the ropes, and Eaglin tries to press, move in on, on uh, Lovato, but look at Rudy work off the ropes with his back to the ropes. That ends the round, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back to the action now. Dan Cisneros at ringside. Round five underway, scheduled for ten. So we're almost to the halfway point here. Four rounds in the books. We're into the fifth. So far, a masterful performance by Albuquerque's Rudy Bad Boy Lovato. As he sees this fight as a tune-up for the Chris Linson match that uh, looms on the horizon where nothing is official and nothing has been signed to this point, but Chris Linson and Rudy Lovato definitely looked aimed at each other for a showdown match. And if the promoter can put things together, Lenny Fresquez, we may see that one. So uh, right now it's Rudy Lovato showing what he can do. Chris Linson fought earlier on this card, and he was impressive showing Rudy. So now Rudy's going to show uh, Chris a little bit of boxing here. But right now it's Tommy Eaglin with the pressure as he puts Rudy back to the ropes here. Tommy Eaglin out of St. Petersburg, Florida, a record of 15-3, and three, nine wins by knockout. There's a right, uh-oh, overhand right by Eaglin. Rudy Lovato may have felt that one as he just kind of freezes. Now he's back in the corner. Here goes Tommy Eaglin now trying to put his man away again. He has him in trouble here. Rudy Lovato just trying to weather the storm once again. Keeps his hands high. 
And now he backs out and comes out with a flurry of his own. So that's twice now that Eaglin has landed the bomb and Rudy takes it, weathers the storm a little bit, lets uh, Eaglin burn off a little steam, and then Lovato comes, comes out of his shell, firing shots, and here he is again, working off the ropes now. Rudy Lovato, masterful performance. Look at him go to the body now. <laughs> Combination punching by Rudy Lovato. He looked like he was hurt, but it appears right now that he may be well in control, although he is, uh, he does seem to be huffing and puffing here. And uh, maybe Eaglin senses that Rudy's starting to run out of gas. This will be Eaglin's chance to go in and finish his man off, looking for that 10th knockout. Lovato working with uppercuts now, right uppercuts from Rudy Lovato, and then he ties his man up. Nice boxing by Lovato. He scores and ties his man up here. And again, the right hand sneaks in. There's a counter right, though, by Eaglin, and Rudy Lovato right away again ties his man up. Referee Nefi Quintana breaks the two apart. And again, Lovato continuing to jab on the retreat. And he's been scoring with that. Tommy Eaglin running right into it. Nice ring generalship on the part of Rudy Lovato. Just kind of leading Tommy Eaglin like a dog on a leash here. Getting him where, to go where he wants to. But there's a right hand that scores by Tommy Eaglin. Good solid overhand right. Rudy takes it. Rudy Lovato looks like he's in pretty good condition for this fight. And uh, the conditioning is going to be an important part if he's going to get into the later rounds of this one. Again, Eaglin showing the power here. The power edge definitely going to Tommy Eaglin. Round six underway now. A nice uh, crowd here tonight at the Lujan building on the Albuquerque, or excuse me, the New Mexico State Fairgrounds in Albuquerque. Rudy Lovato and Tommy Eaglin waging war here. This bout scheduled for 10. Both of these guys, fringe contenders, would like to, to move up the ladder here, so an important crossroads fight for these two. Again, look at Rudy Lovato now with his hands down, kind of, kind of uh, just using his legs to get out of trouble here, and Tommy Eaglin continues to press forward with his hands up. But he's allowing Rudy Lovato to score those body shots. Looked like Rudy might have been tiring out a little bit there in the last round, but I think he may have got his second win here. And if he does, Tommy Eaglin better look out, because here goes Lovato again, continuing to score, actually making it look a bit easy. Tommy Eaglin just not being offensive enough. He's pressing forward, but not moving his hands enough, not willing to score. And uh, the edge and hand speed definitely going to Rudy Lovato, and the, the busy hands of Lovato are earning him points on the judges' scorecards here. Look at Rudy again, fighting with his back to the ropes. Rudy Lovato now fighting off of the ropes here, just pecking away. Look at that. <laughs> he just pecks away at Tommy Eaglin, and Eaglin seems content to take it. So Rudy says, if you'll take it, I'll dish it out. And again, Rudy Lovato uh, putting points in the bank, rounds in the bank here in this one, scheduled for 10. There you see Eaglin load up now with the left hand, and Lovato easily eludes that left-handed attack and just ties his man up and resets. Again, Eaglin just kind of pressing forward, looking to counterpunch, but just not able to get anything going here against Albuquerque's bad boy, the original bad boy, Rudy Lovato. Again, the left hand of Rudy connects solid on the head of, of Eaglin and <laughs> Rudy just kind of walks away. You can see that he feels like he's totally in command. Reminiscent of the Tapia Romero fight, uh, same thing. Rudy Lovato just kind of uh, using boxing skills to take control of this one, although his opponent is the stronger fighter. Again, you see Rudy with those body shots now. Rudy Lovato, the former world-ranked kickboxer. Look at him dig to the body here. He has just been going to town all night with a body attack, and it's just been working great. And now Eaglin tries to show some body shots of his own to Rudy Lovato, but Rudy just very calmly ties him up and pushes him out, pushes his way out of that corner. But you can see Eaglin is able to press Rudy back to the ropes pretty often here. Now the two kind of wrestle around, referee Nefi Quintana. <laughs> and here comes Eaglin now with an overhand right, just grazes Lovato. So <laughs> oh, and there's a left hand at the bell.
So six rounds down, four to go here, scheduled for 10. Junior welterweights, Dan Cisneros at ringside, bringing you the action here. Tommy Eaglin out of St. Petersburg, Florida, and Rudy Bad Boy Lovato out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Rudy in the black and white checkered trunks. And Tommy Eaglin is the man coming forward with his hands now up. With his hands up, he just stands there and lets Rudy do what he wants. And Rudy takes advantage of it and lands about five or six little shots there. And Lovato, I think, has found that he doesn't have to load up on this guy. He just relaxes, lets his hands go, and, and continues to score on his opponent, Tommy Eaglin. Eaglin with the record of 15 and 3, 9 wins by knockout. Rudy Lovato, 8 and 4, 3 wins by knockout. And Rudy, with an impressive victory over Ernie Pargas recently here in Albuquerque, was able to punish the man and then put a finish to it in the fourth round, stopping Pargas, uh, knocked Pargas down in every round of that fight until he finally put an end to it, and it was really an impressive performance by Rudy Lovato. And right now it's a masterpiece as far as boxing goes. You can see Rudy with the, uh, <laughs> using the old adage of uh, boxing being the, the art of hitting without being hit, and that's pretty well what Rudy's doing right now. And again, Eaglin just with uh, bringing the hands up to cover his face is leaving his body open, and Rudy Lovato's taking advantage with those body shots. Look at that, three left hands to the body, comes back with a right to the head now. Rudy Lovato with some masterful combinations here, looking really good here tonight. Again, Rudy fighting off the ropes, and he connects. And he's getting around the elbows and gloves of Eaglin. Eaglin just being very stationary. And uh, Rudy Lovato is more than glad to take a step to either side and fire. And there you see Rudy with his hands up now. Eaglin fired his shots, but Rudy slips a couple, and then he just blocks a couple with his hands. Nice boxing on the part of Rudy Lovato. Taking a deep breath, though. <laughs> Look at him. He's starting to feel the, the pressure from Eaglin. And this may be what Tommy Eaglin's game plan was all along. But we are into the seventh round, and it's time for Eaglin to start to go to work here. There you see Eaglin with the left, with the jab right hand combination, but just not able to get solid on the, uh, on the chin of Rudy Lovato. Again, <laughs> Rudy just kind of grabbing on as Eaglin gets. Anytime Rudy feels any kind of danger, he's he's learned that he just ties his man up. Again, Rudy Lovato though back in the corner and. His corner does not want him here. His corner man, Oriol Chavez, would like Rudy to be m out moving or out in the center of the ring, but not back in the corner like that against the powerful Tommy Eaglin. Again, referee Nebi Quintana having a little trouble here separating the two. And that ends the round, and we'll be back. Okay, we're going to keep it right here, and we look into the corner of Rudy Lovato out of Albuquerque. That's Oriol Chavez, his chief second. Sammy Kidd and Ricky Ortega on the outside of the ring, working the corner of Rudy Bad Boy Lovato, looking for his ninth victory here, a record of eight and four. Formerly uh, world-ranked as a kickboxer, and now uh, doing his work in the boxing ring. Rudy has been effective tonight with the stick and move, using his legs, hand speed and movement. Speed kills, and Rudy Lovato right now learning that lesson and showing you how it's done. Uh, really in command of this one at this point. His opponent, Tommy Eaglin, is uh, known to be the big puncher, high pressure and uh, heavy punching, but so far not effective against Rudy. He's had Rudy shaken a little bit twice in this round. He had Rudy in a little bit of trouble, but uh, Rudy would just weather the storm gather himself and come out swinging. And now you see the two now trading shots in the eighth round, scheduled for 10. And you can see Eaglin now, I think his corner told him to go out there and get busy, but Rudy Lovato has an answer for everything that Eaglin does. Rudy Lovato with an answer, mostly with that jab and the body shots. That's basically been what Rudy's been re just <laughs> relying on. Uh, jabbing on the retreat has been scoring well to the head. And then you see him just stand there and dig those body shots again to Eaglin. Rudy Lovato with some nice body punching here. And I know the, the pure boxing fans really enjoy watching a good body punch, punching uh, exhibition like Rudy's doing tonight here. Tommy Eaglin moving forward. He should be keeping the jab busier. He's just not throwing any jabs at all. Looks like he has a pretty stiff jab, and he should be sticking it out there. 
uh, not worrying about missing or looking bad. I mean, he's got to get in here and do some punishment. Slow Lovato down. He hasn't been able to so far. There you see Rudy again, just working overhand, overtime with that left hand. A good left hand on the part of Rudy Lovato. Just kind of flicking that jab out there like a whip, kind of like a, a kind of Larry Holmes style. And of course, following it up with body shots. And you see him there trying to get around those gloves, the hands held high on the part of Tommy Eaglin. Single punching bombs by Tommy Eaglin and uh, flurries and barrages of shots by Rudy Lovato. And look at Rudy now with a little wind-up action. He's having fun in there. Looks like he's just got a second win and he's just putting on a boxing exhibition here. Leading uh, Tommy Eaglin all around the ring. And looks to me like he's just about scoring at will here. And here's where Eaglin goes to work though. He, he kind of sets up and he, you can see him dig that right hand to the body but Rudy just using good defensive posture and then steps out. Okay, Eaglin has him in a little trouble here. Let's see, they're getting rough. They keep kind of wrestling. Referee Nephi Quintana trying to keep control of the action here. I don't think Tommy Eaglin's thinking about biting the ears of Lovato. I sure hope not, but he's getting desperate here. And here's where he can go to work. Every time Rudy just kind of sits on that second rope here, uh, Eaglin should just open up and fire nonstop, but he's not doing it. He misses with a right hand there, and Rudy's slipping out to his left. Rudy being very elusive tonight, uh, criticized at times for his straight-up stance, but so far, uh, Tommy Eaglin just not able to get to Lovato in any way, and there you see Rudy with some good right hands now. And that ends the round. We'll be back. We get right into the action now here in the ninth round, scheduled for 10, so 9 and 10 left. Uh, Rudy Lovato totally in command of this one, the Matador and the Bull. And Rudy Lovato, the Matador, definitely uh, in control of this one all the way. And there you see why Rudy is just nonstop. He's just punching, punching, staying busy. He is not loading up with these shots, but he is scoring. And Eaglin just standing there taking it, uh, trying to prove how tough he is. But meanwhile, Rudy Lovato building up the points. And Tommy Eaglin is definitely in the, in the spot now where he needs a knockout, at least a knockdown or two to get back into this fight. But I think he needs a knockout to win this one. And I'm sure Rudy Lovato's aware of that. But Rudy just having fun out there. Looks like he's totally in control of this one. There you see Eaglin kind of raising his hands up like, I'm coming to get you. But uh, Rudy doesn't look too worried about it. Again, a good, nice body work by Rudy Lovato. Combination punch into the body. He finishes with that left hand right to the midsection. Nice work on the part of Rudy Bad Boy Lovato. Here's where Eaglin digs a nice left hand to the body, but Rudy takes it and steps out. Eaglin just not busy enough, and Rudy tries to tie him up. Eaglin would have none of it. And things getting a little rough in there. Here comes Eaglin with a big right hand. Now you see Tommy trying to press the attack. Rudy kind of bending down and charging forward out of that corner. He's got something up his sleeve here. He's, he's boxing. You can see him moving out of trouble, but he's just going from corner to corner. And now he kind of ties up Eaglin and pushes him forward. And now Rudy again pushing forward on Eaglin. Tommy Eaglin just hasn't been able to set up for the big shot that he wants. Rudy Lovato just won't stand still. He continues to box, using his legs around to move around the ring here, and Rudy Lovato seems to be in great condition, and now he, Eaglin acts like he's hurt and kind of makes fun here and posing, and meanwhile, Rudy Lovato just goes to work here and rips some, some shots on the head of, of Eaglin, and now time out by, and Rudy answers back with a little wiggle, and look at Rudy Lovato now, and we got trouble with the mouth, uh oh, here we go, this thing's getting out. Nephi Quintana, the referee, jumps between the two, the bad boy and the Irishman getting ready to, to I don't know, I mean, they've been in the ring fighting. I don't know why they're going to fight all of a sudden here, but but uh, Rudy Lovato didn't like the showboating by Eaglin, and Rudy answers back with a little showboat of his own. He can do it. There you look in the, into the corner of uh, Tommy Eaglin as uh, Rudy Lovato gets the mouthpiece put back in. And referee Nephi Quintana now brings the two back to action in the ninth round here, so 
the tempers are starting to flare here. I think that's frustration on the part of Tommy Eaglin. He just can't get to Rudy Lovato, who won't sit still. Nice boxing on the part of Rudy, the bad boy Lovato out of Albuquerque. Again, Rudy with a little shuck and jive here. Just walking away, just calmly walking away, very casually. Look at him. He puts his chin out there, and then he fires a combination, and Eaglin is just looking foolish out there. He looks helpless. I mean, Rudy Lovato just playing with this guy, hitting him seemingly at will, big edge and hand speed. And Eaglin proving how tough he is, but again, that's uh, playing right into the hands of Rudy Lovato. And now Eaglin loads up with some bombs here. And Rudy answers right back with a combination, comes back with an uppercut. And that ends the ninth round, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back, and here's a replay. Now, look look at Rudy. He puts a little bad boy dance there, and, and uh, Eaglin didn't like it, and, and they start to square off. Nephi Quintana turns around, and boy, he jumps in there right away to separate the two as we look into the corner of Rudy Lovato. And now we'll get another replay action here. And look at Rudy. He just drops his hands. Eaglin kind of says, what are you doing? And meanwhile, Rudy fires about four shots there. Nothing big, nothing heavy-handed. But Rudy Lovato with some nice uh, nice boxing. I mean, he's using the hand speed and he's scoring on his opponent, Tommy Eaglin. And uh, we've got Rudy way ahead on our unofficial scorecard here. We've only given maybe one round to Tommy Eaglin, but that, of course, is unofficial. The three judges doing the scoring will, will render the official decision, but we are into the 10th round. We've got three minutes to go. And if Tommy Eaglin doesn't find a knockout here, I don't see any way that he could win this one. Rudy Lovato feeling good about things now, but Eaglin is going to be coming for him, so Rudy needs to be ready. And right away he ties Eaglin up and pushes him all the way across the ring. You're watching professional boxing here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Dan Cisneros at ringside. Hope you're enjoying tonight's show. Tommy Eaglin and Rudy Lovato in action here. Tommy Eaglin, uh, some of the folks at ringside here talking about him as if he was the favorite, as if they expected a knockout on the part of Eaglin, but no way so far. Uh, he hasn't shown any sign of being able to do that. Uh, he looks like he is powerful, but just not able to connect on Rudy Lovato. And again, Rudy just ties him up and pushes him back to the ropes here. And Lovato, Lovato catches Eaglin coming in here with a, with a left hand. Eaglin trying to drop the right hand in there. Meanwhile, Rudy with about six or seven jabs. <laughs> his his uh, pattern has been jab and then go to the body and come back with a jab again to the head. And now look at Rudy bobbing and weaving with his back to the ropes and then he comes out with a combination, a nice uppercut by Rudy Lovato. And Rudy just totally in command of this one. Totally in command, a masterful boxing performance on the part of Rudy Lovato, reminiscent of Evander Holyfield against Mike Tyson. Again, Rudy just walks away and then slips an uppercut to the body. And Tommy Eaglin just doesn't know what's going on in there. He, Rudy Lovato coming at him from all angles. Again, Rudy p playing the bongos on the, on the ribs of uh, Eaglin. Looks like a bongo drum out there. Rudy Lovato just playing drums on, Rudy, on uh, Tommy Eaglin. Eaglin just not slick enough to get away from the speed of Rudy Lovato. And not so much the speed as just staying busy. And there again, he clips the forehead with an uppercut. And uh, Eaglin tries to come back and answer, and Rudy just ties him up, pushes him out to the center of the ring now. Running out of time here for Tommy Eaglin. He flew all the way out here from St. Pete, Florida, hoping to pick up his 16th win against three defeats. But right now, it looks like Rudy Lovato is the man in command here. Again, Rudy working with that left hand now. As he, as he fights on the retreat, the left hand is effective. And Tommy Eaglin just not willing to, to bob and weave or, or stay out of range. He just keeps walking forward, walking right into the jabs of Rudy Lovato. And then when he stands still, Rudy goes to the body. There's a good right hand by Eaglin now. He may have stung Rudy a little bit. He tries the uppercut. Oh, but Rudy Lovato with a good right hand there, a counter punch. Eaglin thought he had something going there, and then Rudy just freezes him with a solid right hand that snapped the head back of Tommy Eaglin. And there you see Eaglin load up with the right hand, tries to fire an uppercut, not even close. And Rudy, again, just ties him up and moves him around. And there's the bell to end the 10th round, and we're going to go to the scorecards for this one. And it looks like the celebration has already started for Rudy Lovato. 
Uh, we have him way out in front, nine rounds to one in this one. And uh, Rudy just jumping around the ring. He's got his supporters in there, and they're already celebrating. And Tommy Eaglin raising his hands, but I don't think his heart's in it. He's going to try to maybe hope that the judges give him credit for the, the pressure, but uh, really ineffective aggression as Rudy Lovato really took advantage of, of everything that Eaglin did. Uh, Rudy had an answer for him. Masterful boxing performance. At least from where I'm sitting, Rudy Lovato has an has a lopsided victory here. We have it 99-91 here at the eight count boxing hour. And there you see Rudy raising his hands. Pretty nice crowd of supporters and they're all behind Rudy Lovato from Albuquerque. So we're just awaiting the decision of the three judges here. Meanwhile, uh, hugs all around for Rudy and there you see the corner of Eaglin, the corner man even uh, giving a hug to Lovato. But we have to make it official, you never know. You see funny things in boxing and <laughs> you just never know. But uh, from where I sit, definitely looks like a victory tonight here on the main event for uh, Rudy Lovato out of Albuquerque. And that would push his record to nine and four. And this would be a big win. Uh, Tommy Eaglin would be an impressive win for Rudy Lovato if he gets the decision here. So again, the, continu the, the celebration continues here and we're uh, just about ready with the Ju judge's decision here, Ref referee Nephi Quintana standing in the middle there, and uh, ring announcer Mike Adams is just about ready, so let's go to ring announcer Mike Adams and make it official. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Burke scored about 98-94, Judge Gant 98-92, and Judge Martinez 99-91 for your winner, the original bad boy. Okay, right now we're going to talk to the winner of tonight's main event, Rudy Lovato. If we can get him in here. <laughs> Come here, bad boy. Okay, we got the winner of tonight's main event, the bad boy, Rudy Lovato. Uh, tell us uh, from the first round on how the fight went. Hard, tough. <laughs> He, uh, D, D has some power. I want to be careful, keep my hands up, because the motherfucker could hit. He could hit hard. And I just I just knew I had to give him a lot of movement, a lot of side to side, and not brawl with him. You know, that's his fight. I wanted to box, hit him, hold him, and do what I had to do to win the fight. It, lo it looked like he came out real strong in that first couple of rounds. And uh, oh, yeah, he did he kind of surprise you? Oh, yeah. He came out, he came out ex uh, extremely strong, a lot stronger than I thought he was. And uh, I got a good corner behind me. They told me to watch out, watch his power, and keep jabbing and throw a lot of punches and move side to side. Uh, it kind of looked like the formula that Holyfield used to beat Tyson. Uh, does it kind of remind you of that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I had a box just like that. You know, you can't, you can't punch with somebody stronger than you. I didn't, have, I didn't have nowhere near the strength he had. So, you know, I wanted to hit his body and just out, outplay him. Uh, I think all that mu running up in the mountains might have done you some good tonight, huh? Oh, yeah, I owe John Moreno a hell of a lot. John Moreno opened his doors for me and my and my, uh, my training crew, and he, uh, I, owe, I owe John Moreno a, a big uh, uh, a hand tonight. Okay, now what's next for the bad boy? Whoever wants, wants them, the bad boy is in town. Yeah. And if he wants to spar and come down to the north side, bad boy will be patient. And, you know, I got Oreo Chavis right here. Uh, oh, what's next for the bad boy? I don't know. We'll, we'll see anything. We want everybody. Okay. We're going to get him in real, get in good shape right now, and he'll improve quite a bit, and he's working he's working fine. Okay. We're, he's doing a good job, and you're going to see a lot from us. Okay. Uh, a lot, a lot. Well, it's like the bad boy's putting on an, another charge at the... Uh, how many in a row is that now? You've been on a hot streak. Uh, you're going to keep it going, roll the dice? Oh, yeah, we're going to roll the dice, but I need an easy one. I've had uh, my last four or five fights have been tough, back-to-back, -to -back, hard fights, and I, 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 I need an easy one. You know, every, everybody has Romero, Johnny has easy fights. You know, I, I need an easy one. I, I just do, I, you know, do for yeah. myself. You definitely earned a, an easy one tonight because tonight was a hard one for you. 
But you came through and did a great job, Rudy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Really appreciate it, man. Okay, right folks. Here, right here. <laughs> that wraps it up tonight. The bad boy comes through here on the eight count boxing hour, everybody. Thanks for joining us. And now let's meet a world-class fighter. This is